Let's talk Father's Day. I think a lot of dads are pleased when their son enters the family business. That is definitely true with the two behind us, the Browns. Baseball is their passion and profession. And in tonight's Spotlight Story, with the help of photographer Tom Stasiak, we give you the tale of a father and a son. Oh, big crowd tonight. The guy on the left came into this world just a few years before the guy on the right started coaching baseball. That's Matt Brown and his dad, Scott. He is the greatest coach I've ever had. 55-year-old Scott Brown won 565 games as a high school coach at CBC and Viani. It helped he had Matt hitting 21 homers for him, including one they will never forget against Eureka in the sectionals captured in this photo. When we were down two to one, I had a two run homer, and I just remember the emotion of the high five that we had when I rounded second base and looking at him, he was all fired up, and I gave him a high five, and I don't know why, but it was one of the more emotional high fives we've ever had. To see him succeed with all the hard work he's put into it, and that was really cool. It was, uh, it was special. Matt went on to hit 44 homers in college, most of them at Missouri State. He's got three Ks tonight. That is hit hard to left field. He didn't get to see me play a whole lot in college because of his games. So I always think back to the times that he was able to come and the home runs I hit and rounding the bases and seeing him up there with my mom. And those are the special ones that you remember. Scott sees his son plenty now. You want about 10 more? He's the pitching coach for the O'Fallon Hoots in the Midwest Prospects League. That's love, guys. His boss is the manager, son Matt. Be on time with the fastball today, okay? Let's go, let's have a good day. I think one of the funniest things about this year was it was last week, he walked up to me and goes, do you mind if I go talk to the pitcher? I said, why are you asking me if you can go talk to the pitcher? Just go out there. It's basically you boss me around, tell me what to do. It's a different dynamic now. I mean, since Matt could walk, Dad was telling him what to do on the field and in life. And he loved every single second of being Matt Brown's dad. Because of the fact that it's baseball, and baseball's been my life, it's what's brought me the biggest joy. Um, it's what's really got me through some tough times as well, too. To see him go out there and and enjoy something that I've enjoyed so much has been real special. He's the reason why I had the career that I had. I mean, he was a guy that always threw me a BP, always hit me extra ground balls. He never complained once. I mean, it was always, Matt, you need to take a break, but at the same time, it was, you know, keep working hard because it's going to take you farther in life. The two are now inseparable in the bullpen, around the cage. Yes. The dugout. Coach Brown. It's not a hot start for you tonight. You better figure it out quick. I think the biggest thing about tonight, though. And the office. If we win, are we getting snow cones? I was the luckiest kid in the world. I got to play for my dad for three years. And not only that, now I get to coach with my dad. Never once did I ever think I would have the opportunity to coach with him. This is his show. It's not mine. It's, and I'm just here to hopefully help him out. So many father-son relationships are threaded through baseball. Well, you're pretty smart, aren't you, huh? And perhaps none have more love than the Browns. I just hope that someday I can be half the person my dad is because he's a great human being. He's brought a lot of joy to my life. He's a huge role model to me and he's always somebody that I've looked up to since the day I was little.